A very famous example of fitting in Poisson distribution is death by horse kicks. So this example shows unreasonable effectiveness of mathematics to model random data. So this data is on the death of soldiers in the Prussian army from kicks by horses and mules. And this is the table. So let us interpret the table. So this data pertains to 10 army corps. So there were 10 army corps and it was observed over 20 years. So in, in 109 core years, there were no deaths. In 65 core years, there was one death. In 22 core years, there were two deaths. In two core years, there were three deaths. And in one core year, there were more than four deaths. So you can say 10 times 20. So you, this data is about 200 core years. So 10 times 20, you can add this up. This You can add this up and this will come to 200. So what we want to understand is that uh, during this one core year, was there more laxity or were the horses mishandled or this is just a random data. So again, a standard technique for modeling random data is Poisson distribution. So this is used to model customers arriving in a bank these days, but uh, this is an old data set and this is one of the first examples of applying Poisson to to model random data. So we are going to fit Poisson distribution for the above data. So you use the library. This is a uh, data you put in like this. So you repeat 0 109 times because 109 observations, you had zero death. So then uh, 65 core years, there was one death. So you repeat 165 times. In 22 core years, there were two deaths. So repeat 2 22 times and you make this data set. Now, once you find the mean of the data set, that is the lambda of the Poisson distribution, which you want to fit in. And uh, you can stop here and, uh, you know, simply come right here. But we are going to still fit in a Poisson distribution because we want to see how the numerical function behaves like. So you have function lambda, you set as 0.5, something kind of a default value in case things fail. Then you have minus sum of t Poisson, h is the vector coming in. Lambda is the parameter which you want to measure and the log is true. You're going to fit maximum likelihood estimation. This is log likelihood. The lower value for lambda is zero. This is some method. You got to fit it and then you have to model this. So deaths are zero to four. So you have this vector y from zero to four and then you're going to multiply each of them with 200. So 200 is the total size of it. So you add all of these up, you get 200. So you're going to multiply 200 with the Poisson distribution to find, you know, if lambda is indeed 0.61, then uh, how many core years do we get? And then you can say that, okay, you know, what I get here is close to what is observed. Then you can say the data is indeed coming from a Poisson distribution and therefore it is random. So let us run this in RNC. So let us run first the mean here. So the mean comes out to be 0.61 and then we're going to fit it and see uh, what numerical fitting gives us. So the numerical fitting also gives us 0.61. So that is why I'm using 0.61 right here. Now let us see what is the observations we get. So we get 108.6, 66.2, 20.2, 4.11 and 0.6. Now let us write these observations compared to uh, what was observed. So these are the observations from our theoretical a calculation of lambda. Now let us see, see uh, what the data here looks compared to our observations. So as we just saw, we had 108 here, 66 here, 20 here, 4 here, and finally you had 0 here, so 0 